Hello Genshin Impact fans, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive deep into everything we know about the mysterious region of Natlin and explore some fascinating theories. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more Genshin Impact content. Let's get started. First off, Natlin is one of the seven regions in the world of Genshin Impact. It's located on the other side of Sumeru's desert region, known as the Great Red Sand. According to some leaks, Natlan will be located between Inazuma and Sumeru, with a partial involvement of Liwei. Natlan is associated with the element of pyro, which is reflected in its fiery landscapes filled with volcanoes, geysers, magmas, and scorching temperatures. The nation worships Murata, the pyro archon and god of war. After the death of the original pyro archon 1000 years ago, Murata, also known as the god of war, replaced them. An interesting aspect of Natlan's lore is the relationship between Venti, the Animo Archon of Mondstadt, and Murata, the Pyro Archon of Natlan. Venti and Murata were said to be familiar with each other. Venti's remarks about her indicate that the two were close, with their cities participating in martial arts competitions. Venti even described Murata as being pretty obnoxious at times. This suggests a friendly rivalry or a deep bond between the two Archons, adding another layer of complexity to the lore of Genshin Impact. Venti's knowledge of Natlan and its people is extensive. He was able to identify Vanessa, a character from the game's manga, as a native of Natlan due to her fiery red hair and hardy body. This implies that Venti has had significant interactions with the people of Natlan, further hinting at his close relationship with Murata. Murata's influence on her people is also noteworthy, Warriors from every tribe in Natlan would perform rites of combat and celebrate victories in her name. This shows the deep respect and reverence the people of Natlan have for Murata, and how her fiery spirit has shaped the culture and identity of her nation. There are many theories in the Genshin Impact community about the nature of Venti and Murata's relationship. Some fans speculate that their relationship could have been more than just friendship, given their close ties and Venti's fond memories of her. However, these are just theories and we'll have to wait for more updates from the game to learn the truth. The lands of Natlan are filled with volcanoes, geysers, magmas, and scorching temperatures. The people are grouped into tribes, each following different rules. During Tenok's era which happened prior to the creation of Marijavari over 1000 years ago, there were at least six major tribes in Natlan. Dragons in Natlan have undergone long-term development and evolution, with a large number of them coexisting with humanity. Natlan was called the Land of Dragons by Nouvellette at the end of the Fontaine Archon storyline. War is a constant in Natlan that ravages the land like an undying flame. One of the Fatui Harbingers, Il Capitano, has joined the conflicts. Now let's move on to some theories about Natlan. The Genshin Impact community has been buzzing with speculation about the type of characters that would grace Natlan. Many players express the need for more unique and diverse personalities amongst characters, straying away from overused and cliched character archetypes. There's a strong undercurrent of longing for more off-field pyro characters, citing Shangling as a favored model. One of the most intriguing aspects of Natlan is its potential characters. Ian-san, a character glimpsed in the Teva chapter storyline preview, offers a sneak peek into the fiery temperament of the region. As a small girl with long white hair and a strong temper, Ian-san is expected to bring a unique dynamic to the game's cast. Additionally, Murata, the Pyro Archon, is anticipated to play a significant role in shaping the region's narrative. The visual and cultural inspirations for Natlan are drawn from a blend of indigenous American, Spanish, and West African cultures. The land's aesthetic is believed to encompass elements from these diverse cultures, creating a unique and immersive experience for players. Natlan is confirmed to be the fifth nation the Traveler will explore in Genshin Impact's storyline sequence with Fontaine being the current nation in the four. Zero plus updates, Natlan could very well be released in 2024. That's all we know about Natlan so far. Please note that this information is subject to change as the game updates. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Genshin Impact content. See you in the next video.